Judy Morgan. Good morning. We're actually doing breakfast with spaniels at breakfast time. <laughs> Remember, you can purchase all of Dr. Morgan's products at her website at www.drjudymorgan.com. Now it's time to sit back, relax, Enjoy the show. All right. Good morning, everyone. We're finally here in the morning. It's only 9.30. We used to do this at 8 a.m. I don't know how we got so far off our original schedule, but here we are. Um, so I just wanted to answer a very common question that we got yesterday when we um, announced the coupon code for Viva Raw. Um, so I just wanted to talk about Viva Raw for two seconds. So we posted yesterday um, the code Judy10 will get you a 10% discount on your first order at Viva Raw. The website is vivarawpets.com. Um, and so I don't actually have any of the grinds um, left because all of our animals have eaten them, but um, they also have the gnaws and it's kind of similar packaging. So I just wanted to show you, they use this real thick resealable packaging it's very nice. Uh, it feels nice and high quality. Um, it does reseal, so that's a nice feature that a lot of the other um, raw food companies don't offer. This is what they call a gnaw, so this is a pig ear. Um, and we got these two. My bigger dog really loves these. They have all sorts of gnaw options. They have feet and tracheas and all sorts of stuff. Um, but I just wanted to show you guys that this morning. So um, for those of you, if you're a supporter, you may be getting your Viva Raw soon because you guys had uh, the first chance to use the coupon code. So definitely let us know your feedback. Um, but we have tried every single one of their products and have not had any complaints about any of them. The quality has been great and uh, you know nothing leaked in the packaging or, or any weird issues like that. So we really love them. The owners are super nice people uh, and we hope that you love them too. One question that did come about from yesterday when we announced the, the Viva Raw discount was some confusion about whether or not what they offered was a balanced diet. So what they offer is an 80-10-10 mixture basically and they offer it in a ground version and a chunked version. But the grinds are 80-10-10, which is 80% meat, 10% bone, 10% organ. Um, and this is pr a pretty common um, breakdown. Like if you order from somewhere like Hair Today or some other source, um, I think there's a few out west that the names are escaping me. But anyway, if you get those grinds, um, they all follow pretty similar ratios. And a lot of people will call it the pre Prey model raw, PMR. We everyone loves acronyms, so we got to be fancy. Um, and so there was some confusion yesterday. If this is a prey model raw, doesn't that mean it's balanced? And the answer is no. Um, so you're missing a lot of vitamins. The the minerals are probably pretty close with all the bone, um, but you're definitely missing a lot of of vitamins. And we like to add in um, non-starchy fruits and vegetables into our recipes for dogs and even for cats. So the big difference between dogs and cats is cats are obligate carnivores, so they're gonna have a little bit of a higher meat percentage in their diets. If you do wanna use an 80-10-10 grind for your cats, um, I fed the Viva Raw to my cats as well, um, you can shift the ratio to be more appropriate for cats by basically adding more meat. Cats need a little bit less bone, um, and sometimes a little bit less organ. So you can add some 
uh, fresh meat to it, or you can just use it as supplemental feeding and not a, a complete and balanced diet. For dogs, um, dogs, we like to be around 60 to 75% meat. Um, and then we do quite a bit of non-starchy vegetables and fruits. Uh, also, the, the organ meat is really, really important to the diet as well. So when you're purchasing something like the um, Viva Raw, you want to make sure that unless you're going to use it for supplemental feeding, which is totally fine, you can use it in your rotation. Um, if you're going to use it for, for a complete and balanced diet, then you're going to have to add some things to it. So something that's really easy, which I do because I like to be quick and easy with, with um, my cooking, non-cooking because it's raw, but, um, and so basically it's pretty easy. Just add a little bit of a base mix. So we love the raw vibrance and the paradigm from Dr. Harvey's really nice base mixes. Um, technically all you have to add to a base mix is just a protein and an oil. So it's really easy. You don't have to use a whole, um, an 80, 10, 10 grind with this. You're going to have a little bit of extra calcium, but it's not going to be enough to hurt. So you can just add some raw vibrance or paradigm, a base mix to your something like Viva Raw, and that will help complete the diet, fill in the nutritional gaps. So of course for dogs, it's a really easy thing to do. Um, there's also, um, there's also a question about the term prey model raw because there's a company called Vital Essentials that uses that same terminology, but the difference and the confusing part is it is actually a complete and balanced diet. Um, so the difference is they basically add a few things to make it a complete and balanced diet. Um, so there's a little bit of confusion when you use that prey model raw terminology, um, but the vital essentials, one of the, the big keywords that helps me is, let's see where I can find it. Uh, where is it? Oh, okay. So down here, it's kind of hard to see, but it says right there in a little circle, it says complete and balanced. So it's a little bit hard to see, but it says complete and balanced. Um, so you'll see on the packaging of foods, it'll say, uh, let's see, it'll say for all life stages. That will mean that it's a complete meal. It'll say complete and balanced. Um, or it might say like for adult dogs only. So that's kind of, if you're looking at the label, that's some terms that will help you decipher whether or not you might need to add something to it in order for it to be balanced. Um, for like our grinds and the prey model raw that is not a complete and balanced diet, uh, you'll see on the labels typically something along the lines of for supplemental feeding only. Uh, and if anything says for supplemental feeding, that typically means it is not completely balanced on its own. So I mentioned the base mixes that you can add in. You can also just feed a grind, like the Viva Raw grinds in rotation and just not worry about it. So that's what I'm doing. Um, my dogs currently, oh man, they're getting all provide. Uh, they're gonna get cure when I can get my hands on it. They eat vital essentials. They, I get grinds from hair today. I was using the Viva Raw grinds. Um, sometimes my dog's dinner will just be a nice, huge, big, meaty bone. So I do a lot of things in rotation. And so I don't worry about balancing every single meal because I'm doing so many different things and they're on different supplements and I add you know, a scoop of Paradigm or whatever it is to certain meals. So for me, I don't really stress about it because my pets are getting so many different things in rotation that uh, I know that they're nice and healthy and I'm filling in the gaps over time. However, if you don't feel as comfortable with that or you really like the idea of using like a Viva Raw or something like that uh, for your pet's meals, that's totally cool too. Just know that you have to add some things to it to make it complete and balanced. So hopefully that clears up some of the questions from yesterday. I know it's confusing with all the acronyms and the different things. Um, Viva Raw is planning on making a, uh, a commercially balanced and available raw food. So I think next year, 2022, we can keep an eye out for that. And again, that will be complete and balanced. So you won't have to add a base mix to it or other things. Um, but if you want to start using the Viva Raw grinds now, you can either use it in rotation supplementally, or you can add some things to it to make it a complete meal.
All right. Let's see. Uh-oh. Yeah, I think my internet was bad on my computer, but on my phone, it is fine. So I might have to redo the Facebook one, but at least Instagram is working. Okay, um, so I'm going to probably go, and then I am going to see if I need to redo the Facebook video. Okay, we feed a lot of variety too. Yep, that's awesome. And lots of video problems. Okay, so I'm going to hop off, and if you guys have any other questions, let us know. The doc should be back on tomorrow. All right, bye, everyone.